That apparently means remember his future stars card. Do you remember? What's up, boys, and welcome to the Player Moments 87 Yukolo Yukolovic. Okay, well, couldn't even get five seconds into the video without without a massive drumming up of his name. Welcome to the Luka Jovic Player Moments card. A Player Moments, I don't know, EA didn't exactly say when this is a uh, Player Moments flashback too, uh, but I have I have a feeling it has something to do with that. We have Future Stars coming out on Friday. By the way, thank you guys for the support on the video yesterday. You guys gave plenty of really, really good recommendations, including a guy named ok Oskaban in the Bundesliga, a Turkish center back who looks like he could be very, uh, I think he's under 20 years old, looks like a very, very promising young talent. Again, and then there's also another uh, Köln player who looks like he would get the perfect link into Verstraut. So, uh, very excited, and thank you guys uh, for the recommendations and suggestions yesterday as well. But today, it is all about the return of the King. Luka Jovic saw himself get himself a Future Stars card last year, which we absolutely adored. The five-star weak foot was the thing that we absolutely loved about the card, and it is back again with force. Has that five-star weak foot, has three-star skill moves in FIFA 20. Uh, and we're going to take a look at this card and see if he is worth nearly the 200,000 coin price tag that he is shipping on on the PlayStation uh, as of right now. But per usual, boys, you guys have been absolutely smashing the support. Again, thank you guys. I said I was going to bring it up in every epi leading up till, I don't know, probably never stop thanking you guys for it. But a million subscribers on the channel, man. Absolute insane, insane milestone. Uh, and like I always say, boys, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. And if these epis in, in some way, shape, or form help you figure out if you want to get these cards or if there's something you guys enjoy about a promo or whatnot, uh, as as I always say, drop a mad lad like on the video. But uh, we are here to look at the card. 185. Ow! You know when you have stretchy pants and you... If I concede, I have to do this every time. Oh, shit. We're here to look at the card and see if 200,000 coins might be worth spending for a player that gets 185 total in-game stat upgrade over his base 83 rated card. It is an 87 Luka Jovic, and by all accounts, it looks like a really, really mad card. Now, 5-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, medium, medium. I'm not too fussed about the, the skill moves because he does have a huge, huge thing in that 5-star weak foot. He's got the medium, medium work rates, which is not a big deal in my opinion. We can fix that with a uh, we can fix that with uh, custom instructions. 85 pace, 89 shooting, 90 92 dribbling, 80 physical. You can see we've already attached the Hawkeye uh, chem style. And the main thing that I'm going to focus about this card without even looking at the pace and acceleration yet is the dribbling. Now, the dribbling, this card is designed for the new dribbling meta. Remember, the, the dab rating, dribbling, acceleration, balance. He's got himself, uh, sorry, dribbling, agility, and balance. He's got 88 agility, he's got 92 dribbling, and he's got uh, he's got 87 bounds. So uh, those three stats you guys will remember. Uh, left in log stick dribbling is much easier with a player that has as high up as uh, as high up as possible between the ratings of 80 and 99 on those three uh, th th those three stats on average. And he delivers in droves for a player of his height. For a player that has his height, um, it is an incredible set of dribbling stats. 92 dribbling, 89 composure. We're gonna even look at the physical over there. 84 uh, strength, 81 jumping, 82 stamina. And the nice thing about this card, you don't have to worry about a sniper cam style or anything that jacks off the dribbling literally all i'm concerned with was either hunter on the on the high side or maybe even or hawkeye to get that aggression jacked off a little bit more so he goes up to 89 strength goes up to 77 aggression goes up to 91 jumping with 87 heading accuracy and i feel like we get his acceleration and sprint speed jacked off just enough uh that uh the hawkeye is uh is perfect for the card and then obviously he gets maxed out shot power gets maxed out finishing gets maxed out maxed out uh attacking positioning with the uh with the hawkeye chem style so we're gonna get in a couple games here it's a liga santander card last year was bundesliga so uh this year obviously there's a bunch of really good liga santander cards we got that uh, diego costa card obviously last week which uh was uh, a nice little addition to the to the stable of strikers that you can use. Anaki Williams, we've got the League Player of the Month. Uh, we've got that uh, League SBC. Uh, not Cordoba, the other guy. We've got Marais. We've now got... Uh, a bunch of iterations of Karim Benzema's card, Antoine Griezmann, um, Luis Suarez, among others. So there are players in the uh, in Liga Santander that are that are very very good, and some of them are actually cheaper. But dare I say it, this is probably one of the more deadly ones because, like I said, he's got the five star weak foot and he's got some absolutely insane finishing composure, shot power, strength, dribbling stats. Uh, enough so that I would say that as of right now, he just might be worth that two hundred thousand coin price tag. So we're gonna get him in game. We're gonna see how he feels. That's the most important part about this card we're gonna see how he feels with the left analog dribbling and see if we can get some stuff done with him uh and we're also gonna test out if the four four uh the four triple two is as real as it feels because we 
absolutely dominated with it the other day. Match number one, Los Gates. Okay, right off the bat, guys, I'm do I'm just literally doing I'm just literally doing this on the left analog stick. can't create any separation. He's got zero shots on target. I've got no shots on target. Well, I've got one shot on target. He's got, uh, we're going to go the 4-4-2. Jovic is going to go as our right striker. Williams over there. Vidal Valbuena. Uh, we're going to keep Valbuena there. Costa's going to come off. We're going to bring on Messi and we're going to bring on Leroy Sané. So we're going to bring on a whole lot of pace, boys. Hey, come on. He gave him an easy goal. Accidentally gave him an easy goal, but we'll take it. 61st minute, 1 0. I don't know what it was about the 4 triple 2, but the 4 triple 2 just did absolutely, did absolutely not work for me. The shot power that Luka Jovic shot power, boys. The Serbian mad lad himself just buries one top left. Hey, that's that shot power, boys. Who, who does he even have a net? Dude, he didn't stand a chance. That dude, that ball was traveling at 100 miles per hour. Jovic! This is scintillating, spellbinding oh, football. Oh, he got that whippage too. There we go. That's not good, dude. He feels exactly like his card last year. This Luka Jovic card feels exactly like how that Luka Jovic felt last year. And he's got the hattie. He's gonna get himself the man of the match. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be? The mad? servers are down. It, 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 Boys, Luka Jovic broke the servers. <laughs> we actually, we I can't log back into the game. Is this a one-game player's way view? Is this the first? Oh, damn, we can't even get into the splash screen now, boys. Okay, so what letters do we have? N E R O P P T. I did. I don't even know. I have no idea. Eight. Oh, like the letters O one ninety five pace. What is that? Erling. That better be Erling. These are coordinates, and its location is Russia. Wait, what? The Hattie, well, not the Hattie, but well, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the, uh, we're gonna do the dead fish. The servers come back on. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna break him again. Doing the dead fish with the main man, Luka Jovic, showcasing that he's got enough sprint speed uh, and he's got the strength to keep guys off of him if they're, uh, if they're closing in. Wait for the time to strike. Come on, boys! Luka Jovic! The audacity. Really? audacity ah. 
And now Jovic! Hat-trick! I'm sorry? <laughs> Look at Jovic, what, exa what exactly are you, dude? The audacity. Okay, I, I, I can't, I can't. I can't, this guy's just, this guy's a pro every time he touches the ball, he scores! That's the only way I'm gonna learn. Let's open these packs up. Prime Mix Players Pack. Are they tradable at least? Jesus! Dude, that, that was one of the best players that I've ever played against. I know I made some dumb errors defensively, but my dear God, that guy was really, really good. Uh, okay. Let's... Guys, EA, we gotta get rid of these blue cards. Hey, I didn't really tell that. Hey, in terms of, uh, in terms of blue cards to get that aren't even a board, hey, that's not a bad one right there, boys. 191,000 coins. Now, of course, I saw a couple people on Twitter mentioning that the fact that Rodrigo is likely to get himself a Future Stars card, that obviously makes him, uh, gives him a little bit more value right now in terms of links, especially green links, as it were. Um... But uh, I would say tread carefully, okay? I'm not going to say this is a, a massive, massive... I'm not going to say this is like a smash grab, like go and get this card done ASAP uh, because it is 200,000 coins and we do have a Future Stars promo coming out around the corner with some players that just uh, might be absolutely insane. But for the money, about 180, 175,000 coins, five-star weak foot, dribbling stats for days, incredible finishing composure, good enough pace and acceleration, and then has the strength and stamina as well. Uh, I'd say he's about as near... He's about as close to a perfect card. If he had the four star weak, but uh, if he had the four star skill moves, I would say that he probably wouldn't even be fair. He'd probably be closer to 250, 300,000 coins. So in terms of value, boys, I am gonna have to give it a three and a half out of five. I really, really like the value on the card. 200,000 coins. I think it's gonna settle around 175, 160. So again, I'm gonna stick to my guns. Three and a half out of five in terms of value. And then an on the pitch performance. He is just one of those cards that feels super, super dominant. Four out of five for me. No questions asked. And for me, my personal preference. Uh, uh, he is a thumbs up because he is the Serbian mad lad uh, and he is one of those strikers of all the strikers I just can't get him like Griezmann doesn't work for me Suarez for whatever reason um, I'm not able to fully uh, get the most out of that card um, and uh, this Luka Jovic card just fits my meta where I love players that have that strength, agility, uh, the balance, and then also the uh, the finishing. And more importantly, though, that shot power and attacking positioning. All 99s with the uh, with the Hawkeye chem style. So if you guys did enjoy the episode, if it helps you out in some way, shape, or form, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I'll catch you guys for a stream later tonight. Um, and again, sorry for only one game played. Just legit legitimately nothing I could do. At least we're fortunate that we got that one game with him. But uh, yeah, Future Star's coming up. Wednesday, I gotta go pick up Bateson from the airport. As a matter of fact, maybe I'll just leave him at the airport. That'd be kind of cool. Hey, till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.